before i open my video i just hope you know everyone in kerala particularly wayanad they are okay you know i woke up to a terrible news today morning so i hope everyone is okay and please take care of yourselves that's the most important thing hi guys this is farhad and welcome back to my channel popcorn reviews if you're new to this channel then please smash that subscribe button now and remember to like and comment on the video here because it helps fuel the youtube algorithm with that let's get back to our review the film the malayalam film from the blast from the past that we are going to be discussing is the 1993 malayalam film called devasuram starring mohan lal and directed by iv sasi now i must admit i had a very different impression of the film before i got into it i felt it was an almost like a masi film so to say which is unlike the films that you would generally see from the malayalam film industry uh, you know the masi ones that are usually the uh, the palatable taste to the telugu audience and up to an extent the uh, kannada and the tamil audience as well but not so much the malayalam audience and so i had a different impression going into the film this is not to say that uh, it was any lesser or these films are any lesser than the other but uh, it was just uh, you know one of the things that i had as a preconceived notion but boy was i wrong about this film devasuram which star which actually means gods and demons they uh, it's actually a very different kind of a film because it definitely has its masi moments but it also focuses on a lot of complex emotions that are there including a very delicate romantic track which was unlike something that i had expected in this world so the story goes that it is essentially an ego tussle between two feudal lords that are there one of them being mohanlal the other being napoleon and it was almost like a one upmanship that you would you would see in a film like say ayappanam kosham and uh, you know the conflicts are such that it's just a power tussle that is there the enmity uh, arises from the fact that it is uh, very um, grounded and from an early stage in their lives that are there and it just goes on building with every passing incident that is there but the focus is not only on the one upmanship and the tussle that uh, you know the narrative follows like it was in ayappanam kosham here the focus lies on the character of mohan lal and this is based on a true character by the way so based on mohan lal who is a very carefree kind of a person very brash if i can say so and uh, you know is very proud of the wealth that he inherits that is the entire i think feudal culture that was prevalent in the 80s and probably the 90s in kerala and uh, that is something that is showcased here that uh, he's very careless and he almost does he definitely treats uh, people around him decently well but he doesn't respect women and he has all the negative traits that would not make his character very affable this until you know there is a little revelation or there's an inkling of revelation that is there at the halfway mark that changes the scenario and briefly changes his mindset before an assault on his uh, assault on his character you know completely transforms him into something that is totally different and that transformation comes at a stage where uh, the film completely changes the mood and uh, it's almost like a character arc that you know a uh, event triggers and the character arc uh, goes towards being positive and which he starts loving um, the the girl whom he insulted you know asking her to dance in front of him earlier in the film but here he was almost like being caring and realizing his mistake and i think this realization that was there is what the crux or the core of the film was i felt uh, you know it was a character driven plot that was there it uh, dealt with a very different kind of a character arc starting with something which was negative but you know going into something that was positive and uh, that focus you know, focusing a point on the 
on a single event that was there i think that was the tricky point in the screenplay but it was very well executed by director iv sasi i think he did a fabulous job in the film uh, while directing some crucial moments that were there these were crucial parts that were there and although i did feel that the climax that was there that was pure fan service uh, it still you know reminded me partly of kiridam Uh, Mohan Lal's earlier film Kiridam, which was I think 1989, if I'm not wrong, uh, Kiridam, and although uh, you know it was, you could totally you know understand that it was fan service, and you know uh, particularly because the events leading up to that was so emotional and it was different, it was taking a different route that was there. It was almost like uh, Mohan Lal uh, having a physical transformation as well as a character transformation it was a duality of his character that was there now coming to the performances that are there i felt that um, revti was very underrated and she did a wonderful job you know very understated with the performance i felt even napoleon was pretty good neda mudi uh, uh, the actor neda muni uh, was very good here uh, and um, innocent i think he is one actor who just doesn't get enough credit for the characters that he essays and i think he was fabulous in the film here uh, the kind of righteousness and the kind of sincerity that he brought to his performance i think he was wonderful to witness uh, but yeah it was an out and out mohan lal performance and how beautifully does mohan lal bring emotions to the table he is one character who may not be affable at the start at all in fact he was very crude by his personality is what i'm saying not his performance uh, he was very crude with his uh, personality and almost brash with his behavior someone that i wouldn't like around me but slowly the character transformation takes place and credit to mohan lal the performer to understand the character to the core because if it was a sudden transformation the audience would not have connected to the character so definitely the script was also supporting it but you do see a slight change in every scene that is there you know is almost unsure about what his actions are whether it's right or wrong he's finding a sweet in his mind probably it's right Right, but the reactions around him probably make him question at times also, in not as many words in the screenplay. But he does, you know, add that sense of sensitivity to his character. And slowly after that incident, it was an absolute masterclass again by Mohan Lal. It was wonderful to witness such sensitivity, such beautiful emotions that were flowing in that added the earnestness and the sincerity to the character of uh, Neelam and uh, Neel. and uh, he did a wonderful wonderful job at the end of the day yes the climax was again i'm saying it it seemed to be like fan service to me and it was yeah it, let's keep it this way it was fan service at the end of the day uh, kiridam it felt much more organic i felt the ending that was the year it felt slightly forced and that is one little gripe that i had with the film but the overall character arc that was there that was wonderful to watch so devasuram is absolutely recommended by me and this is i think one of the uh, wonderful more wonderful performances of mohan lal he is always a good actor but i think this is another uh, i think uh, acting master class in the league of kiridam little probably lower than kiridam and uh, thanmatra but right up there for me as well So thank you so much again for the recommendation and once again I'm saying please take care uh, people of Vinard uh, if you're watching this uh, surely you wouldn't be watching it but uh, please take care that's more important take care of people around you that are there if you're liking this video please again you know smash that like button comment on what did you make of the film Devasuram what uh what were your thoughts while you watched it back in 1993 or along the way along the years that you may have watched and um, you know also share this video with your friends and family if you can ask them to subscribe to the channel let's grow this dg family together visit my site popcorn reviews with the double s and on my social media handles all links are in the description box below i do not end up making a video on everything that i watch but i do write a lot all information is present on my site and on my social media handles all links are also in the description box below i'll see you again soon with another video with another one of your recommendations probably till then take care of yourselves and thank you so much for your love and support and please please take care even if you don't manage to watch the video it's perfectly fine 
please take care of yourselves please take care of people that are around you they need your help at this point of time take care and i'll see you again soon bye